I'd go to the moon in a nanosecond. Uh, the problem is we don't have the technology to do that anymore. We used to, but we uh, destroyed that technology and uh, it's a painful process to build it back again. Didn't look realistic. It looks kind of flat. It looks kind of flat. There's artistry to creating the world. It is photoshopped, but it's it's it has to be. Hello, everyone. Welcome back. I know there's not a lot of people talking about the Indian moon mission that we just had recently. Like literally, no one that I know is talking about it or even knows about it. And it's similar to the Israel moon mission that we saw back in April, where we watched their computer animations on a screen the entire time they were allegedly going to the moon and sending this tiny little lunar module that they had made. It's really small, much smaller than the one that we made. Also wrapped in tons of foil and Found out some cool things. I had some suspicions about the foil because I saw that NASA went into business with Reynolds Wrap back in the, geez, I think it was the 50s, back when Project Echo was going on. I'll talk about that later. That's a really cool project in and of itself because it kind of proves that Earth isn't moving. I mean, especially when you see what they did there. But um, this moon mission here and all of them, they always have that foil wrapped around these lunar modules like, Without it, it's just not going to work. You can't, you can't send something made out of metal there unless it has some special foil to protect it from the vacuum or whatever of space. So, Israel went and we watched their animations. And that's what these missions are becoming now. People always go, well, what are you going to do when every country is just sending people to the moon and all this stuff? Well, they're not really going to do that. They're putting off, they, they have a timeline in their head of, how long they're putting stuff off and then when that time comes they'll just put it off again but in the meantime we're going to be seeing animations and that's exactly what we saw with the Indian mission it was a 100 percent computer animated mission and if you don't believe me I'll leave this link in the description you can watch it everything about this mission was computer animated and that's not like conspiracy type stuff it really just was it was admitted I mean you can look at it and see it's not like high quality like they were trying to pass it off as real but everything you see, and I'll skim across the bottom to save you the time of watching, because it's mostly just looking at people in the room here, as they in the control room, as they wait for stuff to happen, and they have the grand entrance of this guy. He seems important. Then they start their animations. Even the rocket launch is animated. That's weird. Why would they not just show you the real deal? Don't know. But... There's the rocket launch. There's what they want you to believe is happening. What Earth looks like. Skipping along, skipping along. More animations. And this thing was flying around the moon, allegedly. And no one ever spots this thing. P-1000's out there looking all the time. You never see anything transit the moon. No glistening of light shining off of anything. This is just like in our imagination. They have some animators that make it seem real. But, uh... Here's one of their animations. I think I just missed it. I think. Where'd it go? There it is. Right there. About as good as it gets. That little animation there. And it comes up again. This was our proof that they went. And if we as a community were to put that out there as our proof of anything, we would get laughed at. We would get so much heat and they would say, you're denying science. Drawing stuff isn't science. But yet this is accepted science for these little children here their precious minds being exposed to this stuff and all it is is animations and people that are higher up telling them that it's true you got to believe it look this guy here believes it and they're talking about it so it's uh it's a sad reality that we have that this is considered science that animations even though we need them because there are times where you get outside of what we can see Especially because we can't get higher than, you know, 73 to however many miles up. So we have to have animations of Earth and, and piece these things together, like they say, like Mr. Blue Marble said, it's Photoshop because it has to be. Yeah, to have any, a picture of Earth, the entire surface of Earth, it would have to be Photoshopped, a composite, okay? Any model, globe or flat, if you're making a picture or image, so to speak, because it's not really a picture, it would have to be stitched together. And it's not easy to do. So that's why a lot of the pictures look the way they do. 
that's pretty much common knowledge for people who have been looking into this. But I'm just a little bit disappointed in the lack of effort and these people trying to pull these things off because they're not doing as good a job as we used to do. You see here what we're looking at. Definitely not anywhere near the quality of what we were doing many years ago. Like you see here when we were Skyping the moon live <laughs> and talking to them from a landline like the president was back then. And you'll see here, I think it even pops up on the bottom of their screen, live from the moon. Something we uh, definitely are not replicating now. And I know they say we destroyed the technology. But man, it would be nice if they put as much effort. I don't know. Maybe it's a good thing because it's easier to wake people up when they see just how bogus this is becoming, how fake it's becoming, and how sad the enemy's efforts are that he's getting all these people from other countries to try and do the same stuff we did back then with this deception. And it's just not working. They're doing a horrible job. They don't work as hard as the people did back then. And maybe it's because it's hard to find good help, people who are willing to risk their life to keep such secrets. And um, it's a risky game. It's dangerous. A lot of people have died trying to work for the evil one, thinking they're going to gain the world. And in reality, they just find out they're replaceable and that having the world's not what it's cracked up to be. And there's a lot of emptiness and a lot of sad things these people do to get where they are. So um, lots of uh, deception still going on. Is it as good as it was back in the day? No, it's not as good. But you still have little eyes watching this stuff. They believe it. And that's what motivates a lot of us to keep doing what we're doing, knowing that a lot of these people here believe in this stuff. And they have to for the world to remain the way they want it to and to control us the way they have been. We have to believe that we are insignificant, that we are this speck of dust in the middle of this giant, ever-expanding <laughs> universe. So um, the good news is, you guys that are really having a hard time with this because when you're not of this world, it shows and you feel sort of alone sometimes. Trust me, you're not alone in this battle. We need to unite. I talked to a um, young man just the other day, and I talk to people all the time, but a young man the other day, um, about my age, he's got his doctorate. He was a really, he's a really smart man. He's really, he's a pretty cool guy. And uh, just talking about the struggle of how do you go to work? How do you do these things that, Seemed used to be easy. You would go and you just kind of blend it in with the crowd and it's hard not to talk about certain things. And if you talk about them, you could lose your job. Definitely need some sort of uh, support group, something because we don't need to leave. Like if you're a teacher or you're a science teacher or whatever, you don't need to leave those children and just say, I'm ditching the system and I'm going. I don't want to be a part of it. It's easy to do that because you're going to be walking in a sea of lies every day. And it's up to you to point children in a better direction than they would be if you weren't there. And that's what sort of keeps, or really what keeps me there and coming back is, you know, other than loan forgiveness and things like that, that this world puts on us to make us kind of become slaves for the rest of our lives. But um, it's a blessing to see these children ask questions and to answer them in a way that points toward creation. So see how many times you can get away with saying the word creation and design if you're a biology teacher or science teacher and um, always expose the lies. You're allowed to do that. If there's a hoax in evolution, you're allowed to expose that. But um, it's worth the persecution, people laughing at you. We get laughed at all the time and say we're science deniers. We don't deny science. Sometimes they get it right. NASA has said that, you know, that the Earth is as if it's not rotating and it's a plane, a flat plane. I believe that, you know, I can agree with that. That's what we can prove with experiments. There's declassified documents. You guys, everybody's seen those videos about the firmament. Okay. We've seen it. So there's, it's not like we're denying science. We deny stuff like this. Yes. You tell me this is science. I'm going to deny that this is science, even though there are scientists in the room honest ones that are doing their best and under a lot of pressure. Some of them, I don't know, it looks kind of laid back, but uh, these, these guys, um, 
this is not science. This is not proof of anything. Okay? These little cartoons that we see, not cutting it. Okay? So, if you're really trying to deceive the whole world, definitely not doing a good job. Too many are waking up, pointing this stuff out. But, um, need to support each other. I'm going to try to do a video really soon about all of the really good channels that we found back in the day before censorship took over and there are new ones popping up there are some researchers and people out there doing some great things making some proofs and it's hard for us to find them if we don't share them so i will try to do a better job i don't like to just mirror videos but I'll, i want to i like to compile people's work give them credit send you that direction whenever i do videos but i definitely need to do a better job someone brought this up and said hey with censorship and a lot of people that are waking up and new to this Please do that. So I think we all need to do that and um, get those people who have just stopped. Like I've seen people who had 13,000 subscribers two years ago still have 13,000 subscribers because of censorship. Shouldn't be like that, especially when they're putting out great content and they're nice, they're kind, they're not spreading hate, they're not spreading lies. So um, we'll be sharing all of that helpful information very soon, as well as some links to videos of the fake space footage that we've had in past videos because even the originals are getting deleted like the ones from the space channels that have tons of subscribers and videos of the old space footage they're getting deleted now really weird it's a world uh, it's a strange time to be on the internet and try to share things even if you aren't labeled or categorized as a conspiracy theorist like us even though we are all or most of us using science and proving reality we were all believers in this stuff not that long ago. Don't forget that. When you're trying to give us a hard time, remember we grew up loving this fantasy just like everybody else. It was 100% real to us. We saw it on TV just like everyone else. And that reality was shattered. And it has led to some greater things and some eye-opening things. Yes, it is tough sometimes not believing exactly as everybody else does. But there are some rewards to that. It leads you down some avenues that set you free. So really watching the puppet show go on is kind of what it becomes. You're just watching this staged reality, this um, predictive programming coming true all the time. And time is running out. We all need to be ready for what's to come. Make sure we're studying, spending time with the Father, the creator of this earth. And getting to know who he really is because that's what sort of waking me up in the first place is that I experienced a love that I had never experienced before in my life and it showed me that as unworthy as I was and still am that there is a loving father who has been through some great suffering throughout these centuries as this world that he made has been corrupted time and time again trying to corrupt your children as we speak shield them Pray for them, love them. If you're struggling with anything, conviction, anything, I'm telling you there's freedom from it right now. And I ask that you find that freedom because it is a horrible way to live, just condemning yourself and believing you're just doomed to failure because we are more than conquerors when we really unite with the true power that is out there for us. So keep your heads up, guys. I love you. Thank you so much for all that you do. The Father loves you. You are a beloved creation of the Most High. And I always hope that we get what we don't deserve because we don't deserve it. But uh, time will come when I will be seeing all of you for one last family reunion. And it will be one that goes on forever. So take care. And God bless.